Hey guys and welcome back to my channel, I hope you're all doing really good. So today I'm going to show you how to make a really easy chickpea curry. I actually got this recipe off of another YouTuber so I'll link that one below um, but I've just changed a few things so I thought I'd put it on mine as well. Okay, let's get straight to it. For this recipe you will need one red onion, one clove of garlic, one inch piece of ginger, one red chilli, one tablespoon of curry powder, one teaspoon of cumin, one teaspoon of ground coriander, one teaspoon of ground paprika, one tin of chopped tomatoes, one tin of coconut milk, five balls of frozen kale or spinach, a bunch of coriander, one spring onion, lime juice and rice to serve. Okay, first you're gonna to wanna to start by frying off your onion. Just to give it a good stir and fry it off until it is nice and soft. Once it is softened, add in the chilli, garlic and ginger. Give it a good stir and if it gets stuck to the bottom, just add a little bit of water and give it a good mix. Just cook it for another minute or so. Okay, so now we're going to add in our spices. Again, only cook it for another 30 seconds to a minute and then you're going to add in your chopped tomatoes. Now give it a good stir so that these spices are all mixed into the chopped tomatoes and now you want to add in your coconut milk. This will make a really nice creamy curry sauce. Okay now we're going to add in our chickpeas and give it a good stir. These chickpeas are just um, a tin of chickpeas, they're really cheap, really easy to use. We're going to add in the kale or spinach. So these balls are just frozen, they're really convenient and easy to just have on hand. And you'll see now as they start to defrost, the spinach or kale will start to spread out and make a really nice colour all throughout the curry. You can also see a nice hint of purple there with the red onions, which is really nice. And then you've got the big lumps of chopped tomatoes as well. It just makes such a nice like vegetable packed curry. Okay, now we're gonna cook our rice. If you're not sure how to cook rice, just look at the video above. Um, and I'll show you really straightforward how to make the perfect rice. Honestly, once you've mastered that, you'll never go back to microwave rice again. Now you can see that the curry is thickening nicely and I've got it simmering away there. Once everything is done, the rice is nice and fluffy, you're just gonna serve it up. So I've added on top of my curry some spring onions and a big dollop of sour cream. Obviously, if you're vegan, just leave the sour cream out, but I absolutely love sour cream. I also sprinkled some coriander on top, which I didn't show you because I completely forgot. Um, but I've started using, I'll insert a picture now. Um, I've started using frozen coriander, which is really convenient, not too expensive. And I think it just saves a lot of waste. So I definitely recommend you try that. And there we go, it's nice and easy, a really yummy, hearty vegetarian meal. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe and maybe send it to a friend you think might enjoy it. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next video.